Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel, guys. If you have a Ford Focus, guys, and you're trying to find which TPMS sensor is not working because your TPMS is light and you try putting air and resetting uh, the TPMS system, but you, you're still getting a message, guys. We'll explain how we're going to diagnose the system. And if you have a bad TPMS sensor, this is the tire pressure monitor sensor. We'll explain which one it is. You have four of them on a Ford Focus, uh, one on each wheel, guys. The spare wheel usually does not have one. Most of the luxury vehicles like BMW and Mercedes, I found that sometimes they do have a one on the spare, but on Ford Focus, most of the times, guys, you just have four TPMS sensors. Now, but if you need to replace one because it quit working, we'll explain how to know which one it is. Make sure you stay until the end. Quick introduction, guys. We have more than 200 videos on Ford Focus and more than 200 videos on every car we get at the shop because our mission is to save you guys as much money as we can. So please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Let's start on it now. So this is, guys, the scanner that we are using. All the tools and parts that we use in our videos, guys, you can find that in the description of the video below, guys, for your convenience. So this scanner, guys, it's a little bit expensive, but for what it can do, I think it's pretty affordable. Why? Because it can pay itself off in just one time use instead of going to the dealer guys you can do so much on your own with that thing and it works on any car not just Ford Focus so let me demonstrate for you quick okay let me grab the key and I'm going to show you first now okay how the TPMS light stays on okay and if you have a bad sensor I'll explain which one it is okay I don't know if ours is bad or not because uh, I haven't checked the system yet Okay, check it out now, TPMS light, guys. Okay, stays on right there. So, now, how we guys, okay, let me even turn the light so you can see a little bit better, perfect. How we guys uh, can scan that system? So, first, I'm going to turn the engine off. Turn the ignition on. Okay, like that. Next, we're going to get the scanner right here. And we'll click, guys, okay, to unlock it. It's like a mini tablet. You have all the functions of a tablet. You have uh, the virtual garage here, you can print receipts, quite a few things that you can do for your customers if you're working too. And check out how many vehicle models it supports. Okay, that thing is unbelievable. It works on almost anything you can think of, Land Rover, Jaguar. It works on Fiat, guys, uh, Mini Cooper, you can see Alfa Romeo. Uh, even it works, guys, on Ferrari, Bugatti and Lamborghini. That thing is amazing, I'm telling you. And now I'll go back, okay, you can see Lamborghini, Bentley, Bugatti, I'll go back, click VIN, auto detect, now it's going to automatically decode the VIN number and tell us which vehicle we have, that way we don't have to manually select, let's say a 2012, Ford Focus and all that stuff. So this is the VIN number, we click OK. In the top right corner you can find your battery voltage, which in our case it's a little bit low, it's 11.3, so we definitely guys need to recharge our battery, because it's been staying here in the shop for a while. This is a Ford Focus gasoline 2.0 engine, we say yes. Now it's going to load all the data, it will take just a little bit, and we'll be ready to uh, diagnose that system. Now, if you guys have any questions, if you want to see any specific repairs, okay, please guys, let us know. Leave a comment below, we'll try our best to make a video for your problem. Uh, we do all that guys, again, to save you money. So, take advantage of, uh, of our videos, guys. We put quite a bit of work, it's very time consuming, so we would appreciate if you subscribe. You can see, it's a loading system data now. It's almost there, usually takes about 30 seconds. Um, yep right there we select control unit okay now it will give you a few options here guys and one of them will be called tpms or tire pressure monitor system or something like that now it could be under a different name as well and i will explain where it is it's uh ford is uh, they have a really uh, complicated way the way they number their modules and all that stuff so I will explain guys, okay, what needs to be done, but if you want to read the modules, right here it says front control interface module. So if you need to find something, it will be usually right here. So, in our case guys, it will be under BCM. Why? Because this is known as body control module. We select BCM, now we are going to click live data. And, okay, let me just go back quick. Under BCM you can click read codes and if you have a problem with your one of your sensors, okay, 
you will actually see the code displayed right here so it really guys okay it really depends okay you can see the car will be beeping horn will activate and you can see if you have any problems here guys hood switch left front turn signal indicator quite quite a few things guys that are uh, le left hand low beam circuit open so we have a few things that are wrong but you have a code here that says that uh, let's say front left tire monitor is bad now if you click live data okay you're going to scroll down all the way until you see okay now right here this is guys the front tire i think you pronounce that placard pressure this is the one that if the tire pressure goes below that value guys okay the uh, tpms light on the dash okay will activate will activate guys and this is in kpa it's not in psi you can change the units if you need to and now if i go down okay check it out now left okay left front tire pressure guys so ours is reading you can see this is our pressure 289.24 left rear outer tire pressure 273 guys so this sensor is working as well if any of those sensors is bad you're going to show zero here okay zero now if i go to the other one that says right check it out now right front tire pressure 259 so this one is working as well as well and right rear 182 so the only reason why we have the tpms slide is on because we have low tire pressure on the rear right side but if one of the sensor is bad you're going to get a message that will say zero here and you will get you may even get a call for that as well so that's how you know guys which tpms sensor is bad hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you having a forward vehicle thank you for watching please guys subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time